Hi guys, so today I wanted to film today I wanted to film a video kind of doing a breakdown of a lot of liquid lipsticks. I'm not saying every single lips liquid lipstick that is known to man, but I have tried a lot and I'm looking down at my liquid lipstick collection and it's really scary. <laughs> um I do own a lot of liquid lipsticks. I'm like a liquid lipstick whore to be honest. Um, but I get asked a lot like what my favorite formula is, what formula do I think is really good, and so on. So I thought I would do a breakdown of all the different brands, formulas, and all that stuff. I have notes right here of what I want to talk about. And yeah, so there's a lot. There are 18 different brands, so this might be a little bit of a longer video. But um, if you guys like these kind of videos or want me to do more of these kind of breakdowns, between different brands and formulas and stuff like that. I do have a lot of makeup, so I can probably do that. I was thinking about doing one with highlighters because I get asked a lot about that one. So yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so the first one, I'm gonna talk about my three favorites. I have three favorite brand of liquid lipsticks um, that I think are very, very good and I think that are worth the money. Um, I probably should have wrote this down. I have notes and I didn't even write this down, but I'm gonna talk about prices, so. Let's start with my favorite. I'm looking this up right now. So I'm going to talk about the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. These are my favorite. I think they are the best liquid lipsticks hands down that I have tried. I've tried a lot. These ones are the best. They are comfortable. They are not drying. They last a long time on the lips. They're very creamy. I love the formula. Everyone always talks about how great the formula is and they're not lying. So these ones are, I think they're 20 Oh no, they're 18. So they're actually one of the cheaper ones, which I think is good. I own um, Red Rum, Ho Ho Ho, Drug Lord, Androgyny, and um, Unicorn Blood. All of these are very good. All of them are very opaque, very creamy. Um, the formula is kind of moussey, but it dries down completely matte. They do not dry out the lips. They wear for a very long time. Um, they do have a good amount of the range of shape. Good amount. <laughs> I can't speak. Good amount of shades of like their range. They do have nudes, um, reds, pinks, bright, different unique colors. Um, their white is really, really good. Um, it's very opaque, which I think this one, I, I haven't worn it by itself, but I do use it to mix other liquid lipsticks to make them um, lighter and stuff like that. So that is like really good. I know this one is limited edition, but I, I'm not sure if he said that he was going to bring it back or not. Um, so yeah, and then Androgyny is my favorite. I have mentioned that before. So the next brand that I think is the best is um, the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks. I own Miami Fever, Havana Nights. I do own Americano. I, it's on my purse somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Um, Venice, Manhattan, Santa Ana, pa uh, Paris Rendezvous, and Atlantic City. These ones are also very creamy. These ones are $19.90, but there's always coupon codes. And, um, these ones are very, very good. This is their old packaging, by the way, that looks different. This is their old packaging and this is their new packaging. Same amount of product, but still, um, they're just like a little bit more sleeker. Um, I actually like their older packaging. I thought they were really cute, but anyways. Um, so these ones, their um, formula is very moussey. It does dry down matte, but it's not, comp it is completely matte, but it's not like that kind of dry matte if you know what I'm saying like it doesn't um like it's not the thing that I'm trying to say is it's very hydrating it's not creamy but it's not like the like NYX soft matte creams where they're like you could touch them and they're just gonna like rub off they're very hydrating um I just like the formula on these ones I think they're very good and I mean everyone talks about these ones as well so the so. next ones that I'm actually gonna talk about have a lot of different mixed reviews on them, I guess. A lot of people say that these are the same as ColourPop, but these are the Kylie Lip Kits. I actually just got um, Posey K and True Brown K today, but I had um, Dolce K from before, and um, the two new ones that I got are different. The formula is a little bit different, um, and I can tell the Dolce K was very nice on the lips. It sat very nicely. It felt very lightweight. Um, it was a tad bit drying, but not anything super drying, which I have some that are like that. The formula on these ones are a lot different than anything that I have tried. Um, they're not very moussey. They're liquidy, but not too liquidy. I don't know. If you've tried them, then you know what I'm talking about. But um, 
I really like the formula on these ones. I think these ones are very good. I know a lot of people say they're very expensive. They're $29, but they do come with the, um, the matching lip liners for them, which I don't think is a bad deal at all. Most liquid lipsticks are $20 to $24, $25. You're paying $29 for a liquid lipstick and a lip liner that is really good. Now, I will say that these lip liners do remind me a lot of the ColourPop lip liners, um, which are like around $5. So that could be that too. So $5 for a lip, like if you think about it that way, they are very similar to those ones. So $5, you're still going to pay $24 for these. I don't think it's expensive at all. Um, and you do get the matching lip liners. So this one, um, it does wear for a very long time. Um, it's really comfortable on the lips, super lightweight. Um, it's not drying. The newer ones, I'm wearing Posey K right now. It is a lot more comfortable. I could definitely tell a difference in the formula. She also changed the applicator. I like the applicator. I'll show you them. Um, this was the applicator for the original ones. They were like a more flexible, like kind of flat dough foot wand. And the new ones remind me of the ColourPop. Um, doe foot where it's just like the typical standard doe foot applicator but a lot of people say because she I think it was that she uses the same lab and stuff as ColourPop that they're exactly the same formula and if you've ever tried ColourPop then you know automatically these are nothing like them I still am like iffy on the ColourPop liquid lipsticks um, I'll talk about that I'll actually talk about it next um, I'm not a huge fan of those ones. I think the formula is nothing like it. It's not similar whatsoever at all. So I don't know why that like rumor is going around saying that they're exactly the same as these $5 or $6 liquid lipsticks because they're not. Um, like I said, if you have tried the formula on these ones, then you know they're completely different. Okay, so I will talk about the ColourPop ones um, now. So I own a good amount of the ColourPop ones. I bought them when they first launched, their first launch that they had, which was a while ago already, and I have Bumble, Lumiere 2, Limbo, Tool, Trap, um, Drive-In, and Solo, or Solo. So I own a good amount of them. The only new one that I have, I have heard that the formula has changed um, since their first launch. So these were the ones I got during the first launch, and this is the new one I have, which is Lumiere 2. This is the Kathleen Lights liquid lipstick. Um, I was not a fan of these ones at first. I still don't really reach for these because they are extremely drying. Um, they're very, very drying. They dry very fast, which makes them a little bit harder to work with. The only one I really wear is Limbo, and I was only wearing it because I really wanted True Brown K from the Kylie Lip Kit. Um, and I probably won't wear this one that often anymore just because I have True Brown K now. Um, but this one, these ones, they wear for a really long time. I will give them that. They do wear for a very long time because they are super matte. Um, they're very drying. Like I said, I don't reach for them that often because of that reason. Um, this one in particular does kind of flake off. This is Limbo. Um, I did notice the same thing with, I forgot, I think Drive-In. I just feel like these ones are a lot harder to work with, but I did get Lumiere 2, and this one was a lot more comfortable. I wore it the other day. It still is on the more drying side, but not as drying as these ones, so I'm guessing they did change the formula, um, but I still don't tend to reach for these that often. But this one, I will say, is a lot better than their older formula. Um, oh, by the way, the ColourPop ones are $6, so they are one of the cheaper if not one of the cheapest liquid lipsticks out there. So next I will talk about the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. Okay, so the Anastasia liquid lipsticks, I believe these ones are 20. I will find out right now. So I have Potion, Bloodline, Craft, and Vamp. Now, I think these ones are really good. They are creamy. I do find that since they are so creamy, they don't last as long. So yeah, these these ones are twenty dollars, by the way. <laughs> um, so these ones I feel like don't last as long on the lips. My favorite one though is Craft. I do wear this one quite often. Um, Vamp, I like it, but um, if you add too much, it ends up looking too dark and not like a very vampy red. It ends up looking almost brown. Um, Bloodline is really good, and Potion I do find is kind of patchy, but I feel like that's with a lot of purple or dark colors like this. Um, that's just kind of, I feel like that's what happens with that color, but 
These ones are a more creamy formula. They do dry down matte, but not completely matte, I feel, in my opinion. Um, I still think that there are better ones on the market than these ones. Um, I know that a lot of people love these and like swear by these, but they are still... I mean, I wear them, but I don't reach for them that often. These ones are also not drying, um, but that has to do with them not staying as long either. Liquid lipsticks that are um, like very matte and a little drying, to be honest, don't last as long, and it's because they're not completely matte and they will rub off and stuff so like that. So the next ones I'm going to talk about are the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. Now, at first I never liked the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks because this was the only one I had, and this one is um, Backstage Bambi. I don't know if you can see, but it's super watery. I think I just got a bad one. I'm pretty sure I just got a bad one. It's extremely watery. You can even see, like, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it just looks like water in a tube. Um, so I kind of strayed away from them for a little bit, but then I got the little duos of the Lolita, little duo um, liquid lipsticks. I have Lolita and Lolita 2. I love them. They aren't drying. They're really comfortable on the lips. These ones, I think, are $20 as well. Yes, these are $20 as well. Um, not these little tiny ones, obviously, but like the big ones like these are $20. I love Lolita too. It was in my yearly favorites. Um, it's one of my favorite liquid lipsticks to wear. It's not drying at all. It does not flake off and it doesn't settle into fine lines as well. Next ones I have, these are the Sephora Cream Lip Stains. These are liquid lipsticks. They do dry down matte. Um, I love these. I feel like these are very underrated. I don't feel like enough people talk about them. They are $13. Um, at Sephora. My favorite one is Marvelous Mauve and um, Blackberry Sorbet. These ones are very comfortable. They're a tad, like, not very drying, but they do have a little bit more of a drying sensation, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, but they're not anything where it's like extremely drying where you're like, I need water <laughs> on my lips or anything like that. It's They're very comfortable, I feel, and they are one of the better like lipsticks that I have tried. So, um, these ones also wear for a very long time as well, and um, they do have a good range of shades. Um, they have reds. The only thing they don't have is nudes, which I tend to go towards more nude colors, but they don't really have that. But they do have like reds, corals, pinks. Um, they have more of those kind of Next colors. These ones are the LA Splash. Now, these ones I own Vindictive, Ghoulish, and Latte Confession. Um, these ones, I believe, are $13 or $12, um, maybe $14. I know they're in the teens kind of area. Um, I will leave it listed down below. I'll leave prices of all of these listed down below. So, um, these ones last forever. They are, like, waterproof. I have a video on my Instagram of, like, literally going underwater and, like, going like this, and they don't come off. They, because of that reason, I feel like they're a little drying, but not anything, like I said, too extreme. Um, I do think that these ones settle in fine lines a tad bit, but again, nothing too extreme. Um, but these ones will stay on your lips forever. They are completely waterproof. So, those like, let me take you swimming on our first date, you can wear these because these will not come off. Um, they do have a good amount of range of shades for these ones. Um, they have reds, darks, colors, nudes, crazy colors like this. Well, I mean, it's not that crazy, but, like, they do have crazier colors. So the next ones, um, these ones I feel like aren't considered liquid lipsticks in my opinion, but I know people do categorize them as liquid lipsticks. Um, these are the NYX Liquid Suede. I own Stone Fox, Sandstorm, Vintage, and Soft Spoken. These ones don't dry completely matte. They're more of, like, a cream... I think that's even what they say. A cream lipstick. A lot of people, when they first came out, they thought they were liquid lipsticks. I thought they were liquid lipsticks. They are definitely not. Um, they will move around if you touch them. They do transfer. The only one that I thought was really good was Soft Spoken. I actually wore this one to the um, OC Fair. And I ate all the greasy food and stuff like that. I went to a concert afterwards. or I think that was that day. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't touch up at all. I didn't need to touch up. Um, maybe it was like one of those good lipstick days where like you just don't need to, but, um, I find that this one is a lot better than these ones. Stone Fox flakes off, Sandstorm literally flaked off within like a minute, and Vintage I just wasn't a fan of. The only one that I really do like is Soft Spoken. These ones are $6.99 I believe. Um, they're not drying because they are a, like a lipstick. They don't dry down so they're not drying. They are more hydrating so if you like 
liquid lipsticks like that aren't gonna dry out your lips and stuff I would try these ones but again, they don't dry down completely. Okay, so the next ones that I'm going to talk about are the Stila liquid lipsticks. So I have two full size and then three minis that I got from like a little set. I have Aria, Como, Bossy, Beso, and Rico, 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 whatever. Anyways, so I really like Aria. Como was really drying on me. I was like, they reminded me a little bit of the ColourPop ones when I tried this one. I don't know, but I really like these ones. These ones are $24. A little pricey. I still think like $24, $29 for the Kylie Lip Kits. It's not that big of a difference, guys. <laughs> I just feel like people like to talk about the Kardashians and the Jenners for like no reason. And just like to pick little things like $29. And I'm like, you get a lip liner. It's not that expensive. But then again, I know if you don't have the money to like pay $29, then I understand, but like, I feel like people are just like nitpicking. Anyways, so I really like Aria. I wear this one all the time. Um, I did find that, I think it was this one, Bossy, was a little bit drying on me too, and so was Reese Rico. Um, but Beso was totally fine. This one is, I still like this one the most. This is their old packaging, um, and this is their new packaging. But these ones are more of like a creamy, moussey kind of texture, and they do dry down matte, not extremely matte. Um, but they still do dry down pretty matte. They don't settle in fine lines. They are pretty comfortable to wear. Um, the range of shades is really good. They do have nudes, reds, um, pinks, dark colors like this, bright colors. It's a good amount of shades. Um, they don't flake off. I did notice that this one did flake off. I think it has to do with the color. A lot of like these bright purples. I feel like purples are really hard to work with. Um, but I, I feel like this one was just like a no for me. I, I won't wear it again. Um, but I do really like this one. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to talk about, the rest of them I only have like one liquid lipstick from them. Um, so this one is the Gerard Cosmetics, or are these called the Hydra Matte. This is in Serenity. This is the only one I have. I do really like the formula on this though. They aren't completely matte, um, but that has to do with it not being super drying. This is Manny Anyways liquid lipstick that he created. He even said that himself, that he didn't want to make something that was too matte, that, so it wouldn't be super drying. So if you do like more hydrating liquid lipsticks, um, I would definitely try these ones out. These ones are $20, but there's always a bunch of coupon codes. So um, I would try these ones if you like those kind of ones that don't dry out your lips. They do have a good amount of um, shades now. They have a, like a bunch of different shades. Um, they don't settle into fine lines. They're not drying. They don't flake off. These ones are really good. I do want to buy more. I just haven't really remembered to buy more. Um, but yeah. I forgot to talk about these ones. So let me grab them. These are the Color Kill Mega Matte Lipsticks. These were sent to me, um, but they didn't tell me to talk about them or anything. I'm just including them because I do have a good amount of them. I have almost all the shades except for Lotus Petal, which is the one I wanted the most, but they are sold out of it at the moment. Um... So they have a good amount of shades. They have nudes and like reds and pinks. Um, they don't really have anything in between though, like berries and stuff like that. I do really like the one called Playmate. They are a little drying and they do kind of settle into fine lines, but they do last a really long time on the lips. I really like their packaging too. Um, these ones are $15.95, so not too expensive. Um, I like the red in here too. This is Indie Red. Um, and the other ones are kind of pinks, which I don't really wear. Um, I did give one to my mom as well because she likes some more pink colors. But these ones are really nice, and they are very, very pigmented. The only one I had trouble with was um, Love Thing, which is a purple, and it was patchy. Again, I think purples are just really hard to work with, I think. Okay, so the next one is um, the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick. Literally everyone says that these are, like, the best liquid lipsticks. I don't know if it's just just this color. I don't remember where I heard it, but I think I heard someone say that this color, this is Bury Me Too, was a different formula or something. Maybe I'm making it up. I think I remember hearing someone talk about that, but I just don't remember who it was. But I just didn't like this. Um, maybe I got a bad one. I don't know. These ones are, I'm not sure these ones, 18. Um, I, I want to get another one to maybe see if it's just this color because the one this one that I tried was kind of patchy and it just didn't look good on the lips. 
I don't know what it was. I but I, again, everyone says that they're like the best liquid lipstick. So I want to buy another one to see. Maybe it's just this one, or maybe I just don't like them in general. Um, but they do have a good amount of range of shades. Um, the wear time, it did last a long time on the lips when I did wear it. I just thought that this one was patchy. And I feel like that's because it's really liquidy and I feel like the pigment wasn't all there. I don't know what it was, but I think I wore it once and I haven't ever worn it again. I just haven't wanted to because I just didn't like when I wore it the first time. And when I wore it the first time, I wore it to work, so I don't know why I did that. I always wear liquid lipsticks the first time to work and I just hate that because I can't like touch up or check throughout the day and like by the end of my shift I'm like wow this looks like shit so I just didn't like this one um I do want to buy truffle because that color is so pretty so I think I will buy that one and I will maybe do a post on Instagram to see and let you guys know so another one that everyone talks about and says that it's really good is their girl ugh, I can't speak is the Girlactic um matte lip paints Again, maybe when I wore it, my lips just weren't, I don't, I don't know. I didn't like it. It was super patchy. I actually just swatched it on my hand earlier, and even here it looks kind of patchy. This is the shade Demir. These ones are 23. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really like these ones, but I do want to get another one to try it. I feel like I can't base my opinion off of one, um, but I did want to include it in here because it is a liquid lipstick, so, um, it wasn't, when I did wear it though, it wasn't, like, drying or anything, so the formula is good, I just think that maybe it was this color, I don't know, um, but it wasn't, like, bad, I guess, it was just the color, maybe it's just this color, again, I can't really base it off because I only have one. So, the next one, this is the new, like, this is a new one, this is the Tart, um, Tardis lip paint, these ones are $20. I got this from Gem Beauty, and um, so I didn't buy it. I actually wasn't planning to buy these because I heard that they were kind of like the NYX Soft Matte Creams where they don't dry down completely matte. They don't really stay on. They're kind of just like a... I don't even know how to explain it. They're like very moussey. They remind me a lot of the um, NYX Soft Matte Creams. These, they smell very minty. Um, but... I just wasn't, like, I didn't really care to get them, but since I got it for free, I was like, okay, whatever. Um, by the way, at Gem Beauty, I was super disappointed. Um, I also heard, um, her name is Ashley, her name is Cup Full of Freckles on Instagram and on YouTube. She talked about this too. It left a really bad taste in my mouth when I went to Gem Beauty, that tart, in order to get the free little goodie, um, we had to write a false review on Sephora saying that we love the formula. It was super awkward. I didn't want to do it, but, and I, what I was originally just going to do was just like type it out and be like, here, I was, I almost posted it and then like delete it, but they literally made me press post on the Sephora website. So I thought that was super shady because I do look at the reviews on Sephora to like make sure that I'm actually buying something I'm going to like. So if you look on the Sephora website and there's a bunch of, I love this formula, super short reviews on it about these. That's why. Um, I don't really care for this one. Um, maybe like the nudes. I feel like nudes are easier to use when they're like not super matte and stuff. And like if they come off and fade throughout the day, it's less noticeable than like a very bright lipstick like this one. This one is yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just don't really care for these ones. I probably won't buy one. Yeah. <laughs> so the next one, I did actually own all the shades of this one before. Um, these are the LA Girl Matte fit, Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. These ones are really good. Um, I just gave them away throughout time because I just didn't use them as much. But these ones, I did keep one. This one is Fleur. It's a very pretty, um, like, orangey nude color. Um, but I did own all of them, so I did use it. I had tried all of them at one point, and they are good. Some of them are a little bit more drying. Um, the only thing with this one is that they kind of stay a little tacky. Nothing super noticeable, but um, they do stay a little tacky, and they are a tad bit drying. These ones are 5 or $6, I think, just depending on where you buy them online. I know little, like, um, stores, boutiques and stuff sell them. But yeah, so this one is, I still do use this one often. It was just, I didn't use the other colors. I When they first came out, I bought literally every shade because I was super excited that LA Girl was coming out with liquid lipsticks. 
but I just, they were just shades that I wouldn't wear, to be honest. I usually stick to nudes, <laughs> um, so that's why I kept the nude one. Oh, these ones do kind of settle into fine lines as well, like the little lines on your lips, a little bit, nothing too crazy. Okay, this is the Milani, what are these called? The Amour Matte Lip Creams. These ones were super, super popular. I heard a lot of mixed reviews on these ones. These ones are $6.99. I don't know if it was just this color. When I went to go buy them at Walgreens, this was the only color they had left when they first came out. Um, I wanted the one called Adore, I think. It was the nude. Um, but I just settled for this one, and I liked the color. It wasn't patchy or anything. The only thing I had a problem with was that it bled. Um, again, that ha could have to do with the color. A lot of like darker colors sometimes will bleed. Um, but... I do want to buy more of these ones. Um, I know that they're coming out with a lot of more colors. I saw all the colors that they were coming out with at Gen Beauty. So I'm excited to get the nude colors because I feel like nudes are very forgivable <laughs> um, when it comes to like bleeding and stuff like that. But these ones are still very affordable. They are drugstore, so yeah. So that was um, all the liquid lipsticks that I have. I know this is probably going to be a very long video. Um, but I did want to do a breakdown of all the different formulas, price ranges, um, wearability and stuff like that um, and color ranges. I think the brand that has the biggest variety variety of color is Ofra. Um, Colourpop has a good range color range of colors too um, and Jeffree Star. Um, so I like I said my favorites are the Jeffree Star, the Ofra, and the Kylie Lip Kits. Um, but if you don't want to get the Kylie Lip Kits I would say the next best ones are the Sephora ones are really good. I wish they had a bigger range of colors for them, but they don't. Um, so anyways, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Like I said, if you guys want to see more of these kind of in-depth breakdown videos, um, I have a lot of makeup, so I can do that. Um, like I said, I was thinking about doing one for highlighters because I do have a lot of highlighters. Um, so leave me any comments you have down below. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.